Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here in New Orleans. Isn't it fantastic to be back in person and to be back in New Orleans? It's so wonderful to be back in person and to see the meeting coming to life again. Now, you're talking in uh, two major sessions uh, uh, at this conference, one on anti-racism and one on the future of the uh, APA. As I say, two very big topics. So tell us a little bit about what you're hoping to, uh, to say in those sessions. Well, the sessions on anti-racism are so critically important. Like every other organization in our country, we're dealing with the past of uh, anti-black racism, of slavery and the legacy. And so APA really has a lot of work to do in this area as an organization and also looking at psychiatry's role uh, in racism in our society. When you talk about the future of the APA, what are you trying to, th what, what message have you got there? Well, in terms of the future, uh, Right now, we are in a place of incredible challenge, which also presents opportunity. So you can't, the twin pandemic of mental health uh, is something that's really affecting our country and something that, uh, that Americans are talking about. Americans need mental health care more than ever and are having trouble accessing it. So what's the opportunity? Well, the first opportunity is that we're talking about it, right? For so long, mental health was stigmatized. It was seen as a sign of weakness rather than a sign, a uh, symptom like any other physical illness. And so what um, we're really needing to do now, and we're already on the presidential agenda, we're front and center in the nation, is to lead as uh, the uh, branch of mental health and of medicine that has the most knowledge, experience, expertise uh, treating uh, mental con disorders. And is this going to be the focus of your presidential year? The focus of my presidential year is on a roadmap to the future, so exactly on this, and right. to really think about uh, the ways that we can both in terms of our public engagement, our support of our profession and of psychiatrists, and then in our advocacy and policy work, really move the needle to make sure that every American has access to high quality evidence-based mental health care. So we talked about it, the meeting being back here in uh, New Orleans, everybody uh, coming back together. What are some of the things that you've been really looking forward to about this? Well, most of all, uh, seeing people in person, right? And not as two dimensional uh, boxes on a Zoom screen and really being able to embrace the collegiality of our profession. That's really been the number one thing and it's been wonderful. It also makes us realize how much we've lost in the past two years and how disconnected we've become. And it's just a great opportunity to all be here learning together, collaborating together, and looking to how we can fulfill our professional responsibilities to ourselves and to the patients we serve. Thanks ever so much indeed for talking to us. That was great, thank you. Thank you so much.